world coin. Let's talk about a coin that I cannot stand. Um, this has had a lot of success since its launch. It's probably the most successful crypto launch of all time. To be fair to them, they did a lot right. They really onboarded millions and millions and millions of people. I mean, the statistics on this are incredibly impressive. Um, the concept of the crypto itself is something I'm personally not a fan of at all. But potential here is pretty high. Uh, before I get into where this can go and what this can do, um, guys, if you are uh, new to this channel, this spreadsheet shows the first 26 coins that I actually did videos about on the channel. When I did the videos, I showed myself buying up these coins. They were coins that I expected were going to make a lot of cash. And you can see what they were worth when I recorded and released the videos, as well as the highs that they hit in under a year and a half. These are what your profits would have been if you'd have put $100 into each one when I released the videos, sat on the coins for 16 months, jumped onto your wallet and sold them. And if you'd done that for all 26, your total profit in under a year and a half would have been over 123 grand. Now, the thing is, we're in a bull cycle. You don't have a year and a half to sort your portfolio out. Uh, time is of the essence. And if you're not uh, happy with the coins that you own, if you're not confident in the cryptos that you own, then time to do something about it. And if you jump onto copymycrypto.com, which is, uh, there's a link in the description. It is the site I run where I share my portfolio with my members. Whenever I buy or sell any coin, I tell my members the coin that I'm buying or selling and the price that I'm doing it at. And they can copy along exactly, which means they make the same profit, but they don't have any work to do. And if you go onto the site, you'll see what they've made. You'll see their testimonials. You'll see our successes. Everything on there is public record. You can verify it all on the history of this channel. And if after reading it, you like what you see, maybe try the service out because September, we're going to have huge money printing and rate cuts. It's set to be a big, big month next month. Now, WorldCoin. So WorldCoin had probably the, well, without question, in my eyes, the most successful launch of all time. I mean, it was incredibly impressive how many people they got to participate. Now, the idea, reportedly anyway, is that it aims to build the world's largest identity and financial network as a public utility, giving ownership to everyone. The WorldCoin system revolves around World ID, which is a privacy preserving, apparently, global identity network. World ID enables users to verify their humanness online while maintaining their privacy through zero knowledge proofs. To engage with the WorldCoin protocol, individuals had to download the World app um, and then uh, individuals would have to visit the physical imaging device called the orb, which scans your bloody iris. And with all images that are apparently promptly deleted on device per default, absent explicit, cons explicit consent to data custody. Who the hell would give a company data custody is beyond me, especially when it's your private, it's your, your eye. Um, but all, v all verified world ID holders were entitled to claim recurring grants of free world tokens that is not available in the US. And it has the potential to make world the most widely distributed digital currency. And you can make the argument that it bloody is. What they actually managed to do, like I said, is staggering. As of right now, there are nearly six and a half million people that have engaged with WorldCoin. New accounts in the last seven days, nearly 100,000. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. They've got uh, over 160 countries have World ID users. They've manufactured and put out orbs in 39 countries, three and a half thousand orbs manufactured. I mean, the, the thing that I don't get man, is look, you're still trusting a company. That's what it boils down to. This is still a company. You know, founders of WorldCoin, Sam Altman, Alex Blanier, and Max Novenstern. Most well-known is Sam Altman, who is uh, the co-founder and current CEO of OpenAI, as well as the former president of White Combinator, which is a startup incubator. Initial research and development for the WorldCoin project was conducted by Tools for Humanity and other partners. They raised a staggering amount of money, a quarter of a billion from big names like uh, Andreessen Horowitz's crypto arm, you've got Koshla Ventures, Bain Capital, Di Tiger Global, Blockchain Capital, huge, huge, huge names. 
And it's not a surprise. World I, like identity is going to be a big, 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 big thing. Digital ID is already a massive thing and it's becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. The problem is, again, from my perspective, is there is an, an Im immense amount of trust being placed by individuals for a bit of free cash. And free cash is obviously the, the way to go because that's how you get people engaged. But my God, like, I just... Yeah, from a from a digital identity perspective, I'm huge, I'm just I'm really 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 not a fan, um, but it's had immense success, and they continue to have a success. You know, they've got very strong links with big media companies, as can be seen from you know Bloomberg releasing a whole article about Worldcoin's Orb Factory, audacious and absurd defender of humanity. You know, you've got. Um, I mean, yeah, they, they, they've been work, they, they're working with a lot of names. Delicium's a project I've spoken about a few times. I rate that project quite well. Um, but overall, look, I mean, they're growing. This is, this is to me, a project that's probably going to be quite successful. Um, I just hate it as a concept. I hate it as a concept. Uh, I just think there's too much trust here. They don't, by the way, they don't store pictures of your IRS. They scan it uh, because it is your unique, it is unique as your DNA and turn it into a hash unique code. That's it. Not even your name is stored. Again, I just feel like that's too much trust. I, like you may, maybe that, that may well be true. That may well be true. But I don't want my eye scanned by anyone. I want my privacy I don't want my digital ID out there. I don't even like the concept of a digital ID, but I do think we're heading, we're, we're heading towards a world where it's going to almost be necessary at this point. So Worldcoin have got ahead of the game here and done this uh, right, and whatever, however you want to take that. But yeah, um, just, I mean, it's bizarre to me. It's bizarre to me that anyone would want IRS scanned. Um, they are doing a lot of grants. They have now, they are introducing community grants, project grants. They're, I mean, this is, with the money they've raised, with the capital that they've got behind them, I mean, no, make no mistake about it, they'll have another fundraising round for sure. And when they do, they'll earn a shed ton of money as well. Um, this went to crazy good highs of like 12, over 12 bucks. Uh, oh, sorry, $11.82, just shared 12 bucks from launch. Did very, very well. Did quick 12x. Um, and yeah, I mean, again, anyone that's uh, participated in it can get recurring Wellcoin grants. The supply is tiny right now compared to its total supply, but the token unlocks don't really kick in for a while. You know, we're not really going to see the huge growth in this uh, for quite a bit. Um, Unlock events, as you can see. Um, yeah, you can only really see small unlocks. So each day, about 5 million coins are released. So that is approximately 150 million a month, um, which is a bit, but it isn't like, but because it's small, consistent unlocks, uh, rather than like just all of a sudden a friggin' billion dropping in, it doesn't, it isn't going to have a huge impact on the price. Uh, the only people that are really getting the world coin are um, investors, initial development teams, and the world coin community get the majority. So again, it doesn't feel like there's going to be a huge price dump as a result of like token unlocks. Price has dropped off quite dramatically, but there's definitely some hope for anyone that's a world coin holder. I mean, they're not on Coinbase. Uh, they're probably, I, I mean, I can't really see a reason they won't land on Coinbase. Um, they haven't been identified as any sort of SEC problem, uh, quote unquote. Uh, their volume is still consistently pretty good. I mean, it's down 25% today and it's still at 100 mil. Um, so the volume is still good. Coinbase could list this and then this gets a four or five X bounce really, really fast. And as of right now, the circular length supply is 365 million. By year's end, you know, you can add 150 million September, October, November, December, at least four times. So, you know, we're going to be 
around the billion dollar, billion token region by a year's end. But before we get to that point, this could absolutely rock it. I do think there is a world where WorldCoin can get to silly heights like 50 bucks. And I'm not saying that like uh, this is a price prediction. What I am saying is they have established themselves a foothold around the world as um, a technology that people are using for their digital identity, as a technology that people are interested in using, as a means of moving money around, earning money as a means of you being your go-to digital identity wherever you want to go. They have nailed down a foothold. If they can solidify this by continuing to grow combined with a Coinbase listing, this could be a crazy kind of coin that hits 50 bucks. I hope it's not. Personally, so, so not a fan, I wouldn't mind this dying. But um, I don't think that's happening. They're, they've got such heavy backers and I think they're going to continue to push and innovate. Sam Altman as well is very well regarded in uh, the, the technology sphere. He's going to probably be interviewed on a regular basis um, along with any member of the WorldCoin team. Uh, they clearly have very good mainstream media ties that Bloomberg are doing articles about them. There's enough here to suggest that this is going to have um, another run. Now... I think the bare minimum that this will this coin can hit the bare minimum is back to, is to beat its previous high. I think this can get back above eleven dollars eighty two or whatever it is. I think there is a world where this can get to twenty um I think there's a world where it gets fifty. I think this should get to twenty dollars um but again, it's going to depend on if there's a coin base listing and if they can continue to grow and if no governments have a problem with them because some governments. Uh, in Africa have been adamantly opposed to WorldCoin. So as long as that doesn't happen in Europe and America, or particularly Europe, really, less America, um, then they should be fine. But yeah, I think this can run, I, th I think the bare minimum this should be running to is 20 bucks. Coinbase listing and everything else and the continued growth, this could, this could do 50. It's not a coin I'm, I'm invested in, nor is it a coin I'm going to invest in because I'm not a fan of it as a concept at all. I also, I don't trust a company that, that wants to scan irises. I don't care that they're, they're stating. I don't even care if the technology shows that it's all deleted. Things go wrong in technology all the time. Look at what happened with Microsoft and all the planes being, you know, not being able to fly very recently. So, yeah, not for me. But if you're a WorldCoin holder, do you, you, where do you think this can go? How high do you think this can go? Do you think this could end up being one of the biggest cryptos in the world? Do you think this could be a top five? Where do you stand? Let me know in the comments down below. And how do you, are you happy? If you're not a WorldCoin holder, but, and you considered getting an iris scan and you didn't, please share why you didn't in the comments down below. Uh, and guys, look, we're in a bull cycle. And if you are not happy with the coins you own, if you're not confident in the cryptos you own, then get onto copymycrypto.com. There is a link in the description and have a look through it. On there, you will see what my members have earned. You will see uh, the successes we've had. You will see their testimonials. Everything on the site is public record. You can verify on the history of this channel. Copymycrypto.com is where I share with my members every single coin I own. Whenever I buy or sell any coin, I tell my members the coin that I've bought or sold and the price that I bought or sold at. And they can copy along. So there's no work. Same profit. Mm -hmm. And again, if you're in a situation where you're not confident in the coins you have, you know, next month's going to be an incredible month. Money printing, huge, you know, well, potentially big rate cuts. They were catalysts in the last bull cycle. So next month should, in theory, be a very positive month for the market. And if you don't get your portfolio sorted, you're going to watch everyone else making money in these markets while you don't, guys. And that is it from me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.